colonies. Social insects like bees, wasps, ants and termites live together in large groups or colonies. Usually there is one queen and she is responsible for laying all the eggs. The workers who are all females do everything else including building the home, guarding it and keeping it clean, finding and stocking the food, looking after the larvae, etc. Some males are there whose job is to mate with the queen. This is called division of labour, that is, work is divided and each one carries out its duties. In relation to their size, termites build bigger structures than any other creatures. They use grains of soil as bricks and their own spit as cement. A termite queen lays around 30,000 eggs a day. There are lots of compartments inside an ant's nest. Prides Carnivores also move in groups, but their groups are much smaller. They move in groups to attack other animals. Lions form groups called prides. A pride can have up to six females with cubs and about two or three males. The females care for and feed each other's cubs, as well as hunt and wait in hiding to attack on prey as big as zebras. The male lion is very kingly. He rarely hunts but is the first to feed. He defends his pride, patrols his region and guards his territory very consciously. Tigers usually live alone. Schools among aquatic animals, whales and dolphins live in groups. Killer whales travel in groups called schools. They gang upon much bigger whales, often a female and her calf. Dolphins also live in big family groups called schools or pods. They communicate with each other with squeals and clicks. Shoals Most fish swim in groups called shoals. Sometimes small fish make a formation which looks like a big fish. This helps them to escape an attack from bigger fish. They thus confuse their predator, making it hard for it to single out one fish. Animal-Human Interaction Most wild animals do not like human company. Domesticated animals like cows, dogs and cats enjoy being with people. Horses also enjoy human company. A special bond is created between some animals and humans, like a horse with its rider and elephants with their mahouts. Dolphins like human company too. So we learnt that like a human society, 
Even different animals have their own societies to live in.